Hey, my name is Jessie. I am the musical director of Lips Choir and we are really excited to be playing Loud Women Fest on the 7th of September. I think when somebody thinks of a choir, they can think of certain things like quite traditional um, structured music making, maybe even like a little choir person in a ruff or a gown singing like church music. That is not what Lips Choir is about. Um, Lips Choir, we formed like 15 years ago. Um, it is a group of people who, I guess it's, it's, it's a trans inclusive women's choir. So we are a space where marginalized genders can come and take up space and feel excellent and express themselves through the medium of pop music. So expect like, sort of wall of sound, lush harmonies, um, reveling in like the joy of music making. That's kind of what Lips Choir is about in a nutshell. Yeah. At Lips, I think one of our faves is our self-esteem medley. We love a medley. Um, it's like nine minute situation. It's like intense. Um, because I think a lot of like um, self-esteem's lyrics come speak really powerfully to us and it really resonates and I think when lips choir singers like resonate with something they sound just like that bit more powerful so that's a top favorite another favorite know a place by Muna um like queer anthem and we always sing that in solidarity with our friends in the trans community um like facing all of the stuff they constantly have to face so like I think that's a really powerful and important song to us because it's it's such a powerful tune. Oh, that's such a good question. Oh my goodness. What is on our bucket list? Well, oh, let me think. Yeah, playing with Golf Rap in the Royal Albert Hall was like a massive highlight. It was amazing. Um, I think Pyramid Stage, Glastonbury, let's aim high. Come on. I think that would be really fun. Like we've done a main stage before. We did best of all main stage. And I remember we were like full of ourselves. We were like, we're a choir. We need only main stages from now on. Like, let us go forth. <laughs> so I feel like, I feel like we're ready pyramid stage. Come on. We will bring joy to those who watch us. Let's go. Every single music video that I've, that I've checked out of like, everybody playing I know that sounds like a cop-out answer but it's such an amazing like array of sounds and styles and messages do you know what I mean I think that's what's amazing about Loud Women Fest is like is a lot of people like I guess yeah like I don't know it's just musicians being excellent isn't it and taking up space and having an amazing time being themselves it's just like there is not one way of pigeonholing everybody um and they sound but yeah the acts look amazing mission is really important I think that we still live in a world where um the music industry is like dominated by the patriarchy and like I think it's really really important to have spaces where musicians of marginalized genders can come and feel free of some of the pressures that they might experience in other spaces um I feel like yeah, I, I think it's really important that that always happens in an intersectional way as well, like with an anti-racist like um, energy to it and an accessible space, you know, like in all the things that I know Loud Women Fest think about. Um, I think it's so important. I think still in the mainstream sense, I don't think we hear from all the voices out there. And I think that that just on a sort of simple level, that's not a rich world to be in I think sometimes we get like a mono world thrown at us so there's that um yeah I think I could answer that for way too long like so I'm just going to wrap it up but I think it's super important um I also think it's really important for younger generations to like have a space to like look and see people taking up space and role modeling like pathways that they could take I think when I was younger there definitely weren't so many like women, non-binary folk, trans folk, like taking up space 
of like visibility where I could I could see that ahead of me you know that that like and also you know like my trans peers could not necessarily see that ahead of them when they were like young so I think that feels super important for our younger generations as well there is no right way to be creative I think it's about like um realizing that that your world your normal is like is an amazing thing to celebrate and it's not the same for everybody else and if you can find spaces like that you trust because it's not easy to let that all out but if you can find spaces that you trust maybe that's like um a person that you can you can share some of your artistic ideas with or a club or a space or a band or whatever it might be um where you can start to like you know just sort of trust that like telling your story and telling your normal is like an amazing thing like that's that's I think for me what I've learned over the years is to like undo my inner critic voice that tells me that that's not interesting or that's boring or whatever so tell your story because it's probably like resonates with somebody somewhere and is an amazing truth to get out Definitely, when it was illegal to sing together or in like COVID times, um, I think that Lips is a choir, but it's more than that. It's definitely a community. I feel like every band, every artistic group is kind of like a bit of a family at times. And, and Lips, certainly on a grand scale, there's like 90 members now. Um, and there's like hundreds of past members and future members. So it's kind of this big family and although it's a choir and we come together to sing we do so much more than that so people support each other in so many different ways and I think when we weren't allowed to be in the room together that was the most challenging time for us and we met on zoom we sang every week we'd go outside and clap for the NHS on the Thursday at 8 p.m we'd go back in two hours I was just on my own in my house because I lived alone at the time um just like singing into the zoom and everyone would be just like muted singing back but like somehow we stayed connected and when we got back into the room together it was so powerful and I think that's why that self-esteem medley for us is kind of about celebrating togetherness and power together and whenever we sing it we just cry and we're going to be doing that at Lao Women Fest on the 7th <laughs> this is a very dusty picture but for me, it represents the power that music can bring. And I feel like that's real Loud Woman Fest kind of resonance. But this is like lips, a group of lips on stage at a demo in like Parliament Square. And I think it was back in, oh gosh, 2019. Basically, it was an anti-Trump demo. I don't know if you remember it, but a lot of people came together and it was like a sort of woman-led march um, and like inspired by the stuff that happened in America. Uh, where people started wearing the pink pussy hats. And this was a big demo against Trump. And we got on stage and we sang, I think we sang Bronski beat Small Town Boy, which is kind of one of our like queer anthems of like resistance. And um, we sang it on that stage, thousands of people. And I've got it in my bedroom just to remind me the power that music has to make a change in the world. <laughs> 